This is something that I know for sure. It's just something about Morning. You. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday and a new weekly vlog. Yes. And um, we have just woken up. No, we haven't just woken up. <laughs> <laughs> we've been out for a walk. So yes. we did some footage on your phone, didn't we? Yeah, so we've inserted that to start with. So we saw some cows and some horses. A church. A pheasant. <laughs> very, we've been very country this morning. It's yeah. been very nice. So we've just had a nice bath this morning and we're now heading to Bibery, I think it's called. Yeah, we think it's, we're not, we're not, I don't think it's called Bibbery. <laughs> but it's like a really scenic little town. So we're going to head there and then see where the day takes us. We've got a few plans, but we're going to see how we go. Yes. And a pub lunch is definitely happening. Yes. Yay! We slept all right though? Yes. Here we go. Alien bag is on. And it's, it's an okay day. There was a wasp, a bee in here earlier, wasn't there? And we got it out. <laughs> I wonder if it fell on the wall. You've got the keys, haven't you? Yeah. It's gone. Because we put it here. We saved it. Saved it. But yeah, it's a little bit cloudy. Like this, I can see a tiny bit of blue up there. Might break through. There's our car. Yeah, look, the sun is trying to break through. Hopefully. Might be in luck. Let's go. So we're heading to Vibery, which is what we think it's called. But it's spelled B I B. It's got to be Bibery. It could be Bibbery. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if it is. Yeah. Um, but a, it's a really, really scenic part of the Cotswolds and it's somewhere that's filmed. Um, so yeah, we're hoping it's not too busy. We're quite late for us. We like to go out early, but it's like 10, 15. Yeah. It's pretty late because we went for a walk. We went for a walk this morning and the cottage doesn't actually have a shower. So we both had to have baths this morning. It just so takes it just takes so much longer. So. So I always associate a bath with like night time, so it always night makes me sleepy. Yeah. Like a shower, I like a shower in the morning when you wake up and like... So I was like, Luke, wake up, you've got to drive! <laughs> so now we're out in the country. Yes. Uh, it's nice here, isn't it? It is, so we'll just show you what we can see so far. We're just going through a lot of fields right now. Yeah, I've seen loads of sheep and horses and cows. village. I want to live in a village. It's very oldie woldy around here isn't it? Yeah. Oldie, that's what I like to say, oldie woldy. It's Barnsley, but not the Barnsley up north. Not the Barnsley up north, no. no. The sun's coming out. Yeah. The village oh, pub. look at all the villageness. might have scored lucky with the parking space. Yes. Look at that. We are having that space. <laughs> right, let's get out and explore. Welcome to Bybury. It doesn't say how to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with Bybury. That's we what we've decided. We're gonna stick with it. If we're offending it. So we are there. So it's not a huge area. No, Arlington Row. I think that's the place we need to go. Yeah, and we think it might be no, over it's there. Not, I no, it's up there. Don't know. Okay, we're gonna explore. So we've got the Swan Hotel over there, and we're just crossing over the little river. This is lovely. I love that we have places like this in our country. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. So it was about a 20 minute drive from our cottage. Not to too here. far. So it's ideal. It is very, I think we scored very lucky with that parking space. Literally, I'm not, I can't believe how lucky we are with that space because people are, like really struggling to find spaces around here and i can smell something amazing yeah it smells nice but the um the guest book that we had mentioned that it's a nice place to eat here we're not actually going to eat here today but that's the little row of houses there i think on the other side oh, look at that so we'll take we'll take the camera down there so we can show you up close Oh, 
coffee and cake <laughs> place just there. We always notice those things straight away, don't we? Yeah, look, see the river here is really quite smooth. It's quite fast that flowing. A duck. So cute. He's just sticking his head under water. And then you get to here, and it's like. But this is Arlington Row, which is the famous street. And we're going to go have a look now. Arlington Road. Very cool. Yes. So we're going to head around now and explore the village a bit more. Maybe go in the shop and have a little look. Yes. Let's have a little look. Two of my favourite words. <laughs> craft fair going on today so we're gonna have a little nose and see see what's about free admission, free admission. we like free <laughs> First thing, we couldn't really film in there because it was it very was super small. quiet, super small, and it just didn't feel right vlogging it. But we can describe what we saw. So there were some nice paintings, there was some jewellery, and they did take Amex. Yes, I'm really going to eat my words because I wasn't. I was expecting it to be like a cash-only environment because no. we're in the middle of nowhere. But no, they took Amex. This tiny little village, village is with the times and takes Amex. So <laughs> <laughs> we like to earn those extra um, air miles. Air miles. Uh, yeah. So I think we're going to walk down to the other part of the village now. May get a drink here. May do. Yeah. Or may go to um, the far this farm. We've seen a farm shop in the brochure. So we might head on to there afterwards. Yeah. yeah. So we've just walked across the road to this lovely little like garden area. Garden area. It's got like a little uh, mini waterfall there. Pond in the background. It looks like you can walk around it. So we're going to walk along and see how far we can actually there's get. Trust Luke to pick out the sign. Bybury Trout Farm. Oh, Bybury Trout Farm. There you go, it has a name. <laughs> so we're going to look around the Bybury Trout Farm. Well, we assume we can. We assume we can, yeah. <laughs> I can't see many people walking around there. Oh, a homemade farmhouse ice cream. Probably the best ice cream in the world. Oh, that's quite a statement. <laughs> so it's a working farm open to visitors and you can actually feed the fish. And there's a gift shop and a play area. Cafe. It is chargeable. Let's find out how much it is. Let's find out how much it is. There are those ice cream flavours. They look so tempting. It's slightly too early for ice cream for me, but but tempting anyway. Luke's going in. Okay, so we didn't end up going in to the trout farm, but uh, admission, if you want, if you're ever coming this way, is 450 for adults and 325 for children, ages three to fifteen. And you can feed the fish, there's a play area, there's a gift shop. So it's quite a large area. Yeah, I think it's popular with the Japanese because they, they, they had everything in English and they had it all translated into Japanese and I recognise it was Japanese. Yeah. Um, but we're now going to go on to a farm shop, um, which is only about 10 minutes drive and we're going to get a, a drink there. I think. Hopefully we're going to go to the cafe there and have a drink and we love a farm shop anyway so I'm sure we'll pick up a few items while yeah, we're there. Let's go. We're Let's just go. saying bye, bye to Bybury. <laughs> bye Bybury. <laughs> Very, for a very pretty place though. Yeah, I'm glad the sun's come out because it's really, really gorgeous with the sun. Yeah. So we're off. It's a nine minute drive. Yay. To the farm shop. Oh, it's one of those roads where um, 
but you've got to pull over if there's another car coming. Yeah. There's a car oh, coming. No. We're going to pull in this It's that Cameron Diaz moment, isn't it, from holiday? Yeah. And we are secretly hoping that this farm shop is open. We are. <laughs> I thought that was a scarecrow over there. It's a, oh, real, wow. it's a real person. <laughs> Okay, so we've arrived. The actual name of this place is the Organic Farm Shop. It looks very organic. Yeah, so the car park looks kind of busy, so it's got to be open. We hope. There's a lady going in with a bag. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she looks local. Follow she's, that lady. She's got a bag with the logo on, so she's clearly been here before. Here we are. Shop and cafe. <laughs> and it's the Abbey Home Farm. It looks really cute. Look at the little trolleys. No dogs. No Probably dogs allowed. They base trolleys. They do, actually. Look at this. Maybe they are. Oh look, they've got a little tractor over here. Look. Oh, the little house. It's really cute. <laughs> right, should we head in? Let's go in. I think we're going to be looking out for some jam. So Luke has spotted the teas straight away. Oh, the pack of teas. Pack of wow. teas. comfort. Ooh. Bedtime tea. Licorice. Licorice tea. Stomach ease tea. Immune support. There's loads of teas. This is where you have to come to get your tea. There's a cafe with cakes. Yeah. Oh dear. This is what we came for. Your jam. Shop jam. Oh, is it strawberry? It is enough. strawberry jam. Oh, it's five ninety five, but well, it's quite expensive jam. jam. An egg. I think I'd like the strawberry from the garden. Yeah, it's got to be done. I know it's five ninety five, but it looks so good. Luke's checking out the cheese right now. This looks nice. What's that? Saint Saint Giles. Bit, Which one's that? It's just an organic tin jar. I don't know what that means. Pearl when It looks like a soft cheese. Looks good. Let's try I know, look at the view. We have some tea and cake, and look how cute the little milk holder is. It's like a little, is it a yen, a milk yen? I don't know what it's called. Look at that. And I've gone for the chocolate almond cake, and this big slice is the Victoria sponge. And we've got a pot of tea for two. And that is the view out there. You've got the like, wind turbine things in the Nice cake there, wasn't it? Yeah, and the staff were so friendly. They were. So uh, they also do uh, like a huge vegetarian vegan lunch menu. So mm. it, I think it is just vegetarian and vegan. So, mm. oh, so we saw it all being prepared and made up uh, in the background. It looked so good. So good. So we're going to head back now, drop the cheese off at the villa in the fridge. And, and, the, and, the, and, the, jam, and the jam. And the jam. <laughs> and then we're going to walk to the pub for lunch. Yeah, obviously have a little bit of a break first. Yeah, I'm going to get some water. And what else did you get? Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Good. So have enough for your snacks later. Yes. So we're just coming up to our um, cottage and the sun is shining a little bit. The blue sky is breaking through. Blue sky. So hopefully we're going to get some nice, a nice backdrop in when we get to the cottage. Yeah. We had to watch yourself down this road because we've had cars coming at us, cyclists, runners. We've both been like, ah! <laughs> Look at the blossoms, they're really cute. Yeah. So here's our little cottage, just coming up on the left. Like a nice big turn. 
Yeah. The little bit of blue sky in the background. Yeah. Yay for blue sky, yeah, nice kind picture. of. So we've got a little bit of sun on the uh, the back of the cottage. And you've been enjoying taking your pictures, haven't you? Yeah, it's nice south facing, so I think if the sun was fully out, it'd be gorgeous. Yeah. And then we've got that beautiful field behind us. And a nice little cute table and chairs there. Okay, now we've got the sun. They look good. It looks so much better when it's uh, got the sun overlooking it. Beautiful. We're walking to the pub. And the sun is shining. Oh, well, different. It's very windy, so I hope you can hear us. Yeah. But look how beautiful it is. So this time walking to the pub, we're going to head down to the canal and hopefully not slip over because it is a little bit steep. Hopefully we don't end up in the canal. Yeah, we don't want to end up in the canal. That'd be bad. So yeah, hopefully we're going to follow this all the way along. Should take about five, six minutes, hopefully. Yeah, it just, it just looks like it has happened because there's no road. Yeah. Be careful, you. <laughs> I could just see you slipping. So we're just noticing the water is super clear. I hope this is coming out on camera. It really is. Go for a swim. Um, I think I'll pass. You want to go for a swim? No. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. The Sapperton Canal, Canal Tunnel. Tunnel. You are standing almost midway along the route, 36 long, 36 mile long oh, really? whole canal. Inside a section of the tunnel which is rock and then brick lined. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so that's all the way in there. Scary, scary. There we go. The pub. We've made it. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Oh. <made> it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too bad a walk, really. So we've just come down to the actual Coates Portal Sapperton Tunnel, 1789. A little history lesson here from Luke. Yeah. And uh, you can just, just see as we come down. inside there. You can't actually get down there, but. There's actually gates under there, so you can't. Is there? Yeah. Oh, okay. But it looks really cool with the water. Yeah. So we're going to head back now. So we had a really nice lunch. Really wow. nice. The fish and chips were so good. And I always enjoy fish and chips when they're chunky chips yeah. and not the thin chips. I think thin chips go well with burgers. Yeah, I had the skinny fries with mine. It just came as like how it came. Yeah. Really good service. Good service. A nice little dining room that we're in as well. Very, very British, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. It's dog friendly in there as well, which is nice. Yep, so it was the Tunnel House Inn. Yeah. So we now are going to walk back. We're going to walk back. So there's a hill that we have to contend <laughs> with on the way back, which is going to be interesting after we've eaten so much. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> when you're just walking normally, but when you've had like a big lunch. Yeah. But this yeah. hill is like really steep. So after a meal, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to just chill out in the villa. Uh, villa? I keep saying villa. Oh, I'm in Florida. <laughs> um, we're going to chill out in the cottage. And um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do the rest yeah. of the day. Might have a nap, just going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I may well fall asleep. Um, but, you know, we're on a chilled weekend away for your birthday, so why yeah. not? So, yeah. And we've already done 15,000 steps today. So we've been on it since, like, half seven this morning. Yeah. So, you know, we've had a... We've indulged at lunch, but we've definitely worked hard for it. Yeah, we've just bought... I bought some, like... I showed you yesterday all the picky bits we've got for, like, dinner. So we're just going to have, like... Um, pick... If we even Sausage. If we even get hungry. Yeah, if we even get hungry. I don't, <laughs> at the moment, I could eat any more. You want cake though, don't you? And mini eggs. Cake and mini eggs, yeah. <laughs> so, wish us luck trying to get back to the cottage. Yeah. <laughs> so lovely and peaceful now. And we've got to walk up this hill. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. Oh, it is. But it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we just had a big lunch. But the sun is out and it's really warm. It's nice. 
Okay, not gonna lie, we've just had a nap and we've just woken up, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Luke had a slightly longer nap than I did, to be fair. I was in a nice <laughs> dreaming land, and then somebody woke me up. And then I woke him up, yeah. But we are gonna go back out for a, another walk, third walk today, because we are determined to get to 20,000 steps on our Fitbit. We're currently at 17,000. Yeah. So we're like, we have to do it. It's got to be a 20k day today. It's really enjoyable walking like in walking ways like this and it's such a lovely area. So we just like making the most of it. Yeah, let's make the most of where we are. Get to 20,000 steps and... We've got yeah. a really nice like pick and mixy dinner. So we're going to come back and show you what we're going to have. Yeah, so we're, we're going to go out now and we'll come back and then we'll show you dinner. And Richard's got sushi. i got sushi. Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. We've set up our little buffet. Yep. So we've got some little cocktail sausages, sausage rolls. Oh, we did our 20,000 steps, by the way. We did our 20,000. <laughs> some cheese from today from the farm shop. Rich has got some sushi from Waitrose. Yeah. Some olives. Some honey barbecue peanuts. Uh, yeah, some coleslaw and potato salad. We're just about to cook these garlic bread slices and some Doritos. So this is what my nan and granddad used to call a pick and mix dinner. Yeah. As a kid, I used to always call this a pick and mix dinner. It's oh. nice. We're having it tonight, so yeah. yeah. And then um, we've got a little bit of cake for later still. So we'll finish off the birthday cake as well, which will be nice. So yeah, we've just been tidying up because there was a bee in here, wasn't there? There was a sleepy bee, but I think we rescued it and it's now recovering. Second bee of the day. Second bee of the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're going to enjoy now. Good morning and happy morning. Sunday. So we have a confession. <laughs> <laughs> We slept in this morning. Now, I'm sure a lot of you can appreciate and relate to a Sunday morning lion, and that's pretty much what we did today. So we were in a massive rush, weren't we? Because yeah. checkout is 10 a.m. So... We didn't get a chance to really pick up the camera until we were in the car. So, <laughs> so we are like, let's just focus on packing things up, making sure we don't leave anything behind, make sure we leave the cottage in a, in a respectable state, because that's yeah. what we like to do when we leave a hotel or um, apartment or anything, is make it clean. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much for Rich for organising it. I had a lovely birthday break. Yes. Um, a lot of you have asked where the villa was, so we'll include the villa details below. Yes. The cottage, sorry, not a villa, it's a cottage. We keep calling it a cottage this whole weekend, we're like villa, villa, villa. No. Yeah, um, so yeah, leave it down below. And obviously um, it's Sunday now. Yes. We are just heading to um, town to get some like essentials Essential in Sainsbury's, bits. just like some lunch bits and dinner bits. Yeah. Uh, and that's it really, we haven't got a lot planned. We're gonna film a vlog today, aren't we? We're gonna film a vlog today, yeah. Um, I'm excited to see the cats, because I miss them so much. Yeah. So, yes, so it's, other than that, it's just a lazy Sunday, really. Lazy Sunday, yes, we need, sometimes you just need a late Sunday, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So I'm like nervous this week, because I've got to wait Tuesday, I'll find out what's going on with my car. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to know what the damage is and you know how much it's gonna cost. How much to is fix. gonna cost? That's what we want to know. How much is it gonna cost to fix? So we'll keep you updated on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, but let's go. So we've just got back from Sainsbury's and look what we found: barbecue pulled pork, Walker's crisps, or chips if you're watching from the US. So well, you found them. <laughs> I found them. Yeah. So these are gonna be for my lunch this week. I've got to try and make sure I resist to eating them before Monday. Anything new yep. or limited edition? New or limited edition, I'm all over it. So barbecue pool pot walkers, looking forward to trying you. Hello and happy Wednesday. So yes, it has been a couple of days since we checked in. Um, really crazy busy interviews. Rich is really busy at work, but all going very well. I have my car back today and 502 pounds later <laughs> so it was a cam belt issue and another issue all resolved but I think we're still going to pursue getting a new car um, I have just spent the morning sorting out the house and I'm going to show you now what I've been up to so next week we're heading to Shanghai now when you're watching this on Monday it'll be Thursday so only a few days to go so getting ourselves organized and this is the travel documents so I've been chucking in everything Shanghai related in here in this room. This is our spare room. So this is where we're gonna pack So initially we're gonna get piles of stuff piled up. I've cleared all the bed made sure it's all good and all the toiletries so got some toothpaste so we are gonna film a Shanghai packing vlog. We're gonna go into more detail what we've got because some of this stock is for California and Hawaii as well, so I've just been piling it. I'm not sure about you, but I'll pile everything all the toiletries in there 
and then the bed will start filling with clothes and other stuff um, and that's what we're going to film so i'm just really getting things organized in the background good evening everyone so just about to head out for a walk we've just thrown some clothes on and just want to say we love like the evenings now getting so light it's half seven and it's still so light so yeah we've still got a way to go till summer but it makes such a difference having going for a nice walk in the evenings um but yeah i'll just see if i can find rich and get an update Willow is still sad about not being able to go out but she's sat here with her little mouse quite happy on the ch on the chair cushion she's not supposed to be on aren't you Yes. Hello. I found him. <laughs> oh. I say I I vlogged earlier saying we've had quite a busy week so yes. far. Uh, it's what day is it? Today? I don't know what day it is. Wednesday. Wednesday. It's one of those weeks where I just don't know what day of the week is. But how are you feeling about one week and one day until Shanghai? Amazing. We've just yeah. been watching loads of vlogs and research and That's literally all we've been doing is watching Shanghai vlogs, researching, planning. Well, there's not much playing left to do, is there? No, we've, we've just got to do the video now. We're going to record a video. Yes. Um, hopefully in the next day or so. Yeah. Ready to go up next week. So probably if you're watching this vlog on Monday, probably Shanghai might be up Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know about you, but I've literally been watching like to see when the first day of the weather is going to pop up on the iPhone. So I think the first day has come up now. Yeah. So we're just saying, we're just about to head out for a walk. Um, like to do that in the evening, it's nice wind down, isn't it? Yeah, I get to offload to Luke my, <laughs> my daily antics. Yeah, hear all about his day, hear about mine. Yeah, so we're going to go for a walk and then have a, I think we'll have a nice bath. Yep. Getting through those bath bombs that we were kindly sent from our friend Felicia and family. I think there's two left now. The basin ones are so nice, yeah, so yeah. lovely. They smell so, so good. So, so we need to pick some up when we go. Yeah. So yeah, we'll check in later. I'm really craving a tea tonight. And I just thought, whilst I'm on the subject of tea, I'd show you our slight obsession for teas. And this is just probably not even a fraction of the amount of teas we've got. So we've got like strawberry tea, apple tea. This is Fortnum and Mason. We picked this up in the airport. I don't even know when we picked this up in the airport. And this tin was from Tokyo Disney. It was, had cookies in it. It had cookies. It had cookies in it. That was Disney Sea, <laughs> that one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So these are all in date. I know we've had them a little while, but they're all in date. Um, and then all of this is basically what we picked up on our travels. And then I got more biscuit brew. And all of these. Because we're running low on biscuit brew and the new branding. Oh yeah, in case you're looking for biscuit brew, the packaging, this was the old packaging. And this is the new packaging. So keep an eye out for the bright yellow box. <laughs> and we got this um, little container. And it was one pound from the range. Bargain. And it's really just handy just to pull out the cover because it's got a little handle on it. You can just kind of pull it out, pick your tea, yeah, and off you go. So what are you having tonight, Luke? Are you having some? I'm having hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. So we've got some options: Belgian chocolate, hot chocolate. So yeah, that's very nice. But no, I'm going to go for I'm going to go for apple and elderflower twinings tea. I've had it before. It is so nice. So yeah. That's what I'm having. All the mugs. Let's pick a mug. Which mug would you like? Oh, I'm going to take my new birthday one I got from Kelly, which is Kafka Kids, and I just love this mug. I would like the boardwalk mug, which is just a, like up there. Middle right, yeah. Not this little alien one here. I had that one the other night. So look at this alien one from Tokyo. I love it. That's that's one of my top three. <laughs> <laughs> one of we my should, top three. We should do a rating of mugs. Rich always picks one that's like really hard to get. There we go. That's actually a really nice mug. Disney's Boardwalk. There we go. Let's make some tea. Hello. Happy Thursday. Almost Friday. <laughs> Rich is losing his voice. I am losing my voice. <laughs> <laughs> He's been singing. Um, it's Thursday. We've had... You've been busy at work? Work this week has been absolutely crazy. I think I said on the vlog yesterday, but it's just been one of those weeks. <laughs> so a parcel came this morning and we've been waiting all day to open it. Yeah. It's come from Australia. So <laughs> far away. <laughs> and um, I was delivered at like eight o'clock this morning and I've been waiting all day to get into it. Luke sent me a picture at work. I was like, oh, I need it to be yeah. five o'clock now. <laughs> and we've just been recording a couple of vlogs to get ahead of the upcoming trip mm -hmm. so basically what we're doing is we're scheduling um, like Sunday's vlog next week Shanghai vlog and another one for when we're in Shanghai mm. so we're getting ahead there's a yeah. lot of work like to record lots of vlogs beforehand especially with work being 
so so busy but we're still managing to find time which is good yeah and especially with me with interviews i just don't know when i'm gonna you know if any more interviews come up i don't want to have to you know plan that we're going to record a video and then not able to yeah so it's getting ahead this week so that next week it's a lot less stressful mm -hmm. so let's show you the box and what's the inside. box and willow is also waiting she was just a minute ago sat by the box patiently waiting you excited she'd like to see what's inside as well so let's go are you ready <laughs> what's this a little bit of fluff on the floor so there was a letter that we have read so it was open like this and there was a lovely read letter first so nice and the we it, followed the instructions because it said read the letter first yeah <laughs> i'm trusting you guys and we did <laughs> we, we did haven't promise. look promise look it's open the letter's open <laughs> look at we're looking at rich oh, so let's read the letter so we've had a lovely letter through from becky paul michael max and nate and there's aliens on it it's ah. aliens and mickey on the letter <laughs> and we just want to say what a lovely letter you've sent us it made us laugh yeah um you're just saying massive congratulations on 17,000 subs. Now this parcel has been to England, back to Australia, and to England again due to some mail mix-ups. So I just want to say thank you so much for sending it. Yeah, because that, know, you know... It wasn't cheap to send. It wasn't cheap to send, and for it to do that journey twice, and for persevering with the postage system. <laughs> So thank you so, so much. <laughs> but this lovely, lovely family have sent us a lovely gift box and they are heading to Disney World themselves later in the year. Mm -hmm. And I hope you have the most amazing time. Well, you will, it's a first visit. You're gonna have the, the best time. Yeah. There's only ever one first visit and it's always, mm. you'll always remember it. We'll always remember our first trip. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now gonna show you and it says, P.S. I got the same as your birthday gifts. Start my own collection. Aww. So we're gonna find out what's in here now. Thank you. Everything was packaged so nicely, but I had to open to make sure some things were not wrapped. Oh, look at this. Wow. So we've got cards first. We're going to check the cards first. And then Willow's loving the box. She's getting really emotional. And we're going to start going through this. It's just amazing. Wow. Oh my Disney. <laughs> Speechless. This is just amazing. Willow is even shocked. Uh, Willow was in shock as well. This is... Oh, I'm, this is, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I've never had anything like this before. Thank you so much, wow. And to come all the way from Australia. I know, um, Australia, like how many miles this has traveled? Oh, seriously. So we're gonna open our cards and all the gifts now and then we'll show you what's what, but you've I'm taken our breath away. Taken back, I'm speechless. Just wanna acknowledge the aliens on the wrapping paper. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so awesome. That's literally made Rich's day. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. And Willow is just watching in awe. Yeah. She can't believe it. So we have opened and we are just shocked. Willow is like purring so much at her treats. We've got like a major <laughs> Australian haul here. Look how happy she is with her treats. You got some treats there. She is so happy. So Willow, she... Willow and Sock's got party mix. Yep. <laughs> Rich was like <laughs> totally in, in his element with the <laughs> Sour Patch. Watermelon! And there's new flavours as well, Tropical Glass. <laughs> I love how they've put um, the little sticky notes on them. Oh, I love the sticky notes, they're hilarious. So cooking for me, <laughs> Aussie. These biscuits, so excited to try these biscuits. Rich got a cool Star Wars card. Thank you so much. And I got a Mickey card. I love it, I haven't seen that one. And we got these really cool, and Becky put a note on saying, I know the colour may not be it's maybe not your type, but I saw them and thought of you both. And it says Dream on it. Perfect. And there's two, I love them. I love Australia cups. Yeah. Starbucks, you are here, Sydney. Sydney and Australia. There's a koala on it. Oh my God, and the Sydney Opera House. We have to go now. Yeah, we have to go. Lint, and I should put, <laughs> they put on here, you have to share these guys. <laughs> <laughs> we will. We will, we promise. A planning notebook, so good things are coming. On the other side, sunshine on my mind. I'm loving this pick and mix container. That is going to be filled yum. up. That is going to be filled up. I'm feeling like jelly beans or something. <laughs> <laughs> Salted caramel cookie mix. And there's a little note on the back of this one it just says, my favorite. When they come out, super easy. <laughs> you know <laughs> us so well. You know us so well. <laughs> All the Tim Tams. We haven't, we, I think we've tried the caramel one. I think you may have sent us the caramel so one before. Good. Honeycomb. White. Yeah. 
um, chocolate malt and sticky caramel flavour. Dark chocolate and raspberry. This one is new flavour just released. So that's chocolate hazelnut and gooey, gooey caramel. Oh my oh. god, that's right up your street. See, these are like penguins in the UK, but so much better. So much better. And some little socks treats. And then it's an Australian beach ball for holiday fun. Willow's, yeah. Willow's currently rubbing her head against. Do you like all this stuff, Willow? Are you thankful? <laughs> It's very thankful. I think this should be taken on our next Florida trip. And I cannot wait to make some kangaroo um, ice cubes. <laughs> that is so cool. This is coming out for the summer, guaranteed. <laughs> and we've got some Australian afternoon tea. You know I think we, we should the try tea. these in a minute. I know, I'm really excited to try that. Oreo, uh, Cadbury coated Oreos. Like, can that get any better? Seriously. So amazing. Uh, wagon wheels, love wagon wheels. It's even got the jam inside. I'm so excited to try those. And there was a note on there saying these are the best ones. I can imagine they are. <laughs> Arnott's, Arnott's mint slice. Oh, I love mint chocolate. And then we've got um, an apron for Luke. Tim Tams. Oh, Tim Tams as well, oh, yeah. Also, Becky included some, um, it says pizza sauce. Try this, Rich. You might like this better. And this is yum. And one for you, Luke. Better than tomato paste. The barbecue one leaked slightly. But we're going to rescue it. It's not you, a problem. You packaged it how we package our Super, body works. Stuff. Super well. Yeah. So it's not out the packaging. So we will, we're going to make those pizzas. Yep. Um, so then we've got an apron for Luke. So cute with the kangaroo on the front. And Rich has been waiting to open this one. And this one here. The yeah. coins. <laughs> it's our first time seeing Australian money. Australian. In, like really cute bags. Bro. <laughs> Australian might have actually never. Can you my, get it out? We have a look. Yeah, in my whole entire life, have I Let's ever held. See if you can put it on um, on top of here. <laughs> what else come to see? <laughs> Coins. Oh, it's kind of like an old 50p. That's a bit like a 50p. Yeah, but like a really old style 50p. They actually are similar to like. That's like that's a like a big pound. 10p. Like a bigger pound. That's a five, like a old 5p. So they're like similar kind of style. That's got, I really want to have a look at them probably. That's a one dollar. That's got a kangaroo on it. Oh wow. That's so cool. Okay Australia I'm loving your coins. <laughs> and then we also was included a gift bag for our niece and nephew. It's so thought the whole family have been thought of like me, you, the cats and our niece and nephew. Yeah and what's in there? So we have got, we've got some cool I Love Australia cups. Yay! And then they're got... good for summer in the garden. Yes. Oh, That's so, so cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, a good ball. They'll have so much fun with that ball. Um, Willow just I, sitting watching. I, I did see, yeah, I did see some cool glasses. That's so cool. No yeah. one will like those. No one will, no one will love those. <laughs> and it's just, the, the, the kindness and thoughtfulness is, is just amazing. Oh, what are they? Inflatable beach ball. They'll love those. With the, the fingers and... Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. A little Aussie t-shirt. Clearly it won't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but That's no, cute. That is so cute. So they will love that. So we just want to say a massive thank you to Becky, Paul, Michael, Max and Nate. Um, we're just so blown away. Uh, you know us so well from watching our videos. Like everything is just so perfect yeah. and... Cannot wait to bake the cookies and drink out the mug and try the tea. I love how there's been post-it notes attached and the thought and obviously you know us so well and you've gone out and picked things that are so connected to us. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. So thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. So tonight we're trying some of the Cadbury dipped Oreos. Yep. We're going to try the white chocolate Tim Tams. Yeah. And also these Kingston biscuits. And you know the sour uh, patch are going to be open. Juice sour patch as well. Yeah. It's, it's been a tough day, so this is well needed. <laughs> and we're going to boil the kettle and try some Australian Australia afternoon tea. Let's try it. We have magic mail. Magic mail. Rich went to the pier box and we've got <laughs> some stuff. Postman Rich has arrived. This amazing birthday card. Mickey it's, birthday card. It, on the envelope it's got a Mickey and then it's got inside some little Mickey things. So thank you so much Karen and Amy. I absolutely love it. And the little Mickey cutouts, <laughs> I'm keeping those. That's such a lovely touch, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. 
So we also had a lovely note from Graham and Natalie, who work at the Tower of London. How cool. And they've kindly sent us tickets to the Tower of London, which is wow. all the way to next year, next March, I think. Um, and it's somewhere that we've both never been. We've never been. And we both really want to go. So it's perfect. So thank you for sending us two tickets. It's very kind of you. We can't wait to go. We're definitely going to record that on a weekly vlog. Oh, yes. Thank, thank you. So got this lovely little gift set from... Um, let's just say Mark and Christine with a postcard from Chroma in Norfolk. It's beautiful. Looks really nice. They've never the been postcard, there. Postcard, yeah. Uh, and Mark and Christine say, um, "Keep up the great work on your channel. We enjoy watching every upload. Here's a little something from us in sunny Chroma." So thanks so much, Mark and Christine. Squishies. Oh, they look so Squishies. good. You love these, don't you? <laughs> and Mickey stickers. And um, don't forget Willow and Socks. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely love that. It's so kind. So we've had a lovely letter from Victoria, including Disney stickers. So thank you so, so much. Yeah, this, we, the envelope as well. this is so cool when we got the envelope. Thank you. So Victoria has written us a lovely note and she's off to Disney World in November to celebrate some big special birthdays. So have an amazing time because you're staying at Club Level Beach Club. Oh, so Club jealous. Beach Club. Like, That's amazing. amazing. And you've, you've mentioned so many kind words about Crohn's disease, so I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to write this. It's lovely. It was so nice. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Have a lovely holiday. Have a lovely holiday in Disneyland Paris as well. Hey everyone. Hello. So it's actually Saturday. Um, we have been, we've had a week of it. It's yeah. been a really tough week this week. So we're going to be honest and say there's not been a lot going on um, that we could vlog. Um, sold my car. Yes. So we so, say goodbye to Luke's car. It was so emotional. It was. Yeah. I didn't. I, actually, I didn't even get to say a proper goodbye. <laughs> no. So yeah, that was all yesterday. There was lots of stuff going on, trying to sell the car and sort it out, and we really just didn't have time to pick up the camera. No. And work has been absolutely busy. You know, when it's just been one of those weeks. I'm just going to be honest and say it was one of those weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Tired and exhausted, and every day. So yeah, we we did our best. Yeah. So well overdue for a holiday. Yes. So some good news though yes you saw last week we mentioned Disneyland Paris well we did renew yay we did a thing we did things so yeah we renewed our annual passes we um, decided to pay monthly so what happened was we downloaded a form from so we completed the renewal online and basically when you're already an annual pass holder Disneyland Paris email you a little like login link mm -hmm. so we went in filled it out and then you have to print out all these documents and sign them and then post them off to France for £1.60. <laughs> um, and then obviously the annual passes come in the post. And uh, we got 16 months yeah. for the price of 12. And I think that was the sort of the push for us, was yeah. the, the 16 months for the price of 12, have to be honest. And before the price increase went And through. before the price increase, yeah. So ours are good till July 2020. Mm. So yeah, really, that's a really good bit of good news. And they came through this morning. Yes. So that was exciting. Um, we're going to Shanghai on Thursday this week. <laughs> I can't believe, I'm still in denial about the whole thing because just it's been so long in the making and it's finally happening this week, it next is. week. <laughs> so excited. So if you're watching this on Monday when it went live, the, there's going to be a Shanghai planning vlog coming out on either Tuesday or Wednesday, which is tomorrow or Wednesday this week. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably going to be Tuesday. We may also try and do a packing vlog. So we're not going to promise it because things just get in the way, but we're planning for it. We are planning for it, yeah. There'll definitely be a Shanghai one because we've already done that, so <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> and then obviously we come back and we have a very short period till we go to... California. California, yes. So How excited are you? I'm really, really excited. So obviously, we've got Disneyland and Hawaii in the same trip, and I'm just like, my mind, Shanghai, Disneyland, Hawaii, mind is blown right now. It's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, so today we're going to pick up a new car. It's not brand new, but it's just uh, something to get us around for now, mm -hmm. um, and we've managed to get it sorted really quickly. Um, we just have to drive quite far to get it. <laughs> Yeah, quite far. <laughs> so, um, just so you know, this is the last weekly vlog for a while. Sad time. Probably around five weeks, I think, or six weeks, because we're not going to weekly vlog on the weeks we've got holidays, because yeah. it's just impossible to do the editing for it. Yeah, and it, they're such big trips for us, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, and so because we go to Shanghai on Thursday and then we come back on Tuesday, it kind of interferes with two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then the following week, we will start the Friday after next we'll oh, start the yeah. trip to California 
but you can still follow us. Yep, so we'll be doing Instagram stories, for example, um, updates on Twitter, and try and do some updates on Facebook as well. Yeah, so yeah, do follow us. Our links are below for our social media, but there'll be loads of updates. Oh, yes. Although, in Shanghai, you may or may not know, <laughs> but you cannot get access to the majority of social media in Shanghai or China. Yes. Um, it's blocked. So we're going to try and update when we can from Shanghai. Mm -hmm. It does mean there'll be no mini vlogs. Yeah, that is the, that will be definite no no. Yeah, yeah. there's no mini vlogs because even if we did manage to get online, there just wouldn't be any way of uploading to YouTube um, without excessive cost because of the Chinese firewall. Yeah. So there will be, however, full, full vlogs will be coming very shortly when we get back. Yeah, the Shanghai vlogs are all going to be out before we go to California. <laughs> um, uh, so expect lots and lots of Shanghai vlogs in a short space of time. Yes. Yeah. It'll be okay. amazing to see them because I will be so excited to see the footage and I won't want to wait much longer after we get back. No. So I'm planning to edit on the flight home because it's a 12 and a half hour flight home. <laughs> and it's, it's a, a long one. It's a day flight as well, so we'll be awake. So yeah. I'm planning to edit a couple of vlogs in advance, get Rich to watch them mm -hmm. on the plane. And literally get home and upload them for you guys. Yeah. And then go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's everything. But yeah. yeah, thanks so much for following. The weekly yeah. vlogs will be back. And the support we've had in the weekly vlogs so far has been amazing. The, the comments on YouTube, we love reading them every day. So a massive thank you from us both. Um, if you're following us on the weekly vlogs and you're talking to us on the comments, it's just it's just amazing. Thank you. Yeah, and I just want to say we are creeping up to 20,000 subscribers. It's amazing. So exciting. So if you haven't yet subscribed and you would like to, yeah. because you're going to have Shanghai, you're going to have California, you're going to have Hawaii, loads more stuff planned for the year. Yeah, and more stuff after that we're in, in the works for this year, so it's not going to end there. Yeah, so we're really excited to get to 20,000 subscribers, which is just oh, unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I can't. I just never imagined in a million years thought we'd get to 20,000. No. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank See you, you soon. See you soon.